Four in the morning is the time this morning. Welcome back to Time of the Wrist at Chisholm Hunter. My name is Harrison, as always, and you might be wondering to yourself, Harrison, why are you up at this ungodly hour and why do you look the way you do? It's because we have three pretty special appointments today here in Sky. And with me, I'm bringing this. It's the Certina DS Plus Starter Pack. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually customise your watch to the scenario in which you're going to. Whatever situation it is in life that we get ourselves into, it normally comes down to a race against time. Whether that's climbing up a hill for sunrise, making it to the beach on time for a photo shoot, or simply getting home for a glass of whiskey. Make sure that whatever life throws at you, you are prepared for anything. This specific model of watch, or these specific model of watches, should I say, are the Urban Heritage Kit. So there's a couple of different combinations you can play with, and I will be showing you what combination I picked for this hike. And so the journey began to our first appointment, into the wild, up the Old Man of Store in the sky, to put this watch to the test. So now that we've hit the first destination, let's talk about the specs of this watch a little bit. Once we've covered the specs, we can cover why I chose this combination for the setting. This kit comes with a dark blue dial with a sunray pattern running through it. And it really is stunning, especially against those gold PVD indices. However, I would like to see a couple more dial variations thrown in to these packages. I think that would really spice things up a little. Let's begin with the Urban Type. So the Urban Type has a stainless steel, a 316L stainless steel, should I say, case. And it also has a gold PVD bezel. It comes in at 40 millimeters in diameter, which is actually a lot more pleasant in size than the other type that we'll talk about in a second. It also has a screw down crown at 10 o'clock to secure this case to the face. And now we get to the heritage type, which is actually what I'm wearing at the moment up the old man of the store, but we'll touch on that in a second. It also has a 316L stainless steel case, but this time there's no PVD on it. The case is cushion shaped, and I quite like this because it's quite a different case shape. You don't normally see this on the wrist, and it just looks pretty 70s inspired to me. Now this case comes in at 43.4 times 45.0 millimeters and it has four screws on the top side of the case and this is a pretty again aesthetically appealing part of this watch when you think of an ap royal oak it also has that same design feature and it has it for a reason because it's bloody good looking now there are two choices when it comes to this pack in terms of straps so you've got a three row stainless steel bracelet which is pretty good i like it and it adds a very polished look to this watch a very clean look to this watch but if you want that more rugged look i would definitely go for that blue nato strap with the pin buckle now we've covered a little bit about the specs of this model we'll save the movement until a little bit later but at the end of the day why did i pick this combo for this hike well firstly i picked the nato strap when i'm on these hikes when i'm doing my adventure photography i suppose you could say i don't like to get things scratched i don't like a bracelet that i can hit off of rocks for example over here just looking over the store i climbed a big ridge to get a viewpoint over the store in that hike I probably would have scratched the bracelet, but because I don't have the bracelet on, there's nothing to scratch. A NATO strap for these situations as well, in my opinion, is just that little bit more comfortable. It's that little bit more wearable, uh, especially when you're sweaty, like me <laughs> going up the hills, a stainless steel bracelet, just, it's just not for me. Next up is why I picked the cushion case instead of the other one with the gold PVD bezel. It is essentially the same reason as the bracelet, I suppose. I mean, I wouldn't want to get the PVD scratched because once it scratches, you'll be able to see underneath the PVD, which wouldn't be very aesthetically pleasing. So I like my watches all the one metal for when I'm doing these hikes. Now, I would have preferred having a ceramic bezel so that if I hit it off of something, it won't scratch. But the fact that you still get two cases to play with is pretty good. But listen guys, we're actually on another race against time to Talisker's Bay because we've got a photography shoot scheduled with this watch on that beautiful black sand that Sky has to offer. So we're going to have to sprint down this hill and go to Talisker's Bay. 
Also, for this shoot, I did forget to say, we'll be changing the aesthetics of this watch because I think I've got a cool combo for the black sand. The race against time had fully begun to Talisker's Bay. Not only did we have an appointment to make, but we were running out of daylight. Without a moment to spare, we finally arrived at our destination. We have just arrived in Talisker's Bay. The beach is just down that way, so the photo shoot is going to commence at the Black Sand Beach. And for the Black Sand Beach shoot, I'm actually going to put a bracelet on this watch which is on here. It actually looks pretty, pretty good with the metal bracelet and we're going to go to the Black Sand Beach now and I'll explain why I put the metal bracelet on this model as well as maybe talking about the movement a little bit. Right guys, we have literally almost arrived. Talisker's Bay, the beach is just over that way and we have five minutes to go. So we, we, I need to say this really, really quickly. The reason why I've paired this cushion cut case with this bracelet and this dial is for the aesthetic against that black sand. So what we're trying to achieve here is a commercial shoot for Sertina on this beautiful, unique black sand beach. And I think this stainless steel look will pop out looking so much more white and so much more clear against that black sand. Pair that with the vintage aesthetic of that uh, PVD coated indices with the blue dial, I think it will just look so unique and so fantastic. But let me let me show you how I'm gonna do this and let me show you some of the shots. So we just got to the beach guys and I've had to I've had to stop and talk about something a little bit more, more serious. On this channel, I preach about charity a lot. I preach about the fact that I love it when watch brands support charities, especially ocean cleanup charities. Now, uh, Certina's case and travel pouch are both made from recyclable material, and that's fantastic. But what I've just seen, it kind of reinforces the idea of how fragile our world is. And this is what is beside this beautiful beach. This is what they've cleaned up off the beach. So the more brands that can do what Sertina are doing and support these charities, these ocean conservation charities, the better the world will be. So well done Sertina. A successful photo shoot down so we managed to photograph the Sertina watch on the beautiful black sand and rock. And the reason that I chose the bracelet with this model is because of how bright it looks. What I wanted to achieve from this photo is a long exposure so I dropped my shutter to about 0.5 seconds with a pretty strong ND filter and I wanted the white milky texture of the water matching the colour of that bracelet in the watch and then the black rock in between it to add a ton of contrast. Now the reason that we chose a beach to, to film this watch at or to shoot this watch at is because it actually is water resistant to 200 meters and it has anti-reflective sapphire crystal glass which makes it that little bit easier to shoot. The movement that is in this Certina model is actually the Powermatic 80 and it's the DOT 611 version. Now this has 80 hours of power and a Nevercorn balance spring. And you might remember this movement from Tissot and actually believe it or not, that is because Tissot and Certina are owned by Swatch Group. So they're owned by the same company. So actually the movements in these watches are just as good, if not better than Tissot. That is us just finished up at Talisker's Bay. The black sand played wonderfully with that stainless steel bracelet that we paired it with. And we're heading back to the Airbnb because we've got a pretty important appointment. We're going to talk about another style on this watch and we're also going to talk about how I think it might revolutionise the watch industry. You know, I'm sorry to anyone that is grossed out by feet, but I just want to show you guys what we go through at Chisholm Hunter to get the shot because this, that is absolutely disgusting. And so we began the long drive back to our cozy accommodation in Sky. And this was perhaps the most important appointment of the evening because, well, it involved whiskey. Right, our last stop of today. And it's a good one because it involves some whiskey, some celebration and some chat 
about watches. Firstly, let's discuss what design I have gone for in, or what combo I've gone for in this Certina DS Plus. So I've got the NATO strap back on it, and this is because I like the comfortability aspect. Also, uh, this is kind of a side note, but if you look at this couch right here, it's uh, blue, and it kind of matches the NATO strap, and that kind of did play a part in my decision. Also, on the same note, playing into that comfortability aspect, the Talisker Bay, the, the bottle, this isn't sponsored by Talisker, it's just, um, we're just Scottish and we like whiskey. This is kind of Sky's home whiskey. It's a beautiful whiskey, you should really try it. And the logo and the boxing, you can actually see it here, is blue. So I thought it was quite fitting to wear the NATO. Also, I just think it does add to that comfortability. You're just in from a big hike, relax, get the fire on, stick a glass of whiskey in the glass and have a drink. Next up is the actual case that I've went with. So I've changed out the stainless steel or pure stainless steel cushion cut case and put on the stainless steel and PVD case. Now, the reason that I've done this is I'm not nervous about shipping it. I'm comfortable, I'm at home. I, well not at home, I'm, I'm in Sky, but I'm back. So I don't feel threatened to scratch this off of anything. And that's kind of my hesitancy about PVD. It looks great, but what happens if you scratch it? But in this situation, I suppose I'm not going to scratch it. And I love the fact that those warm tones play in with the fire that's burning behind me wonderfully. And also, quite fittingly, the whiskey. And that pretty much covers the Certina DS Plus. It, it does, I mean, we've talked in depth about the movement, we've talked in depth about the specs, we've talked about the combos. You can get four combos out of the one pack. But why do I think that it will revolutionize the industry? Why do I think that it will change the watch game forever? Before I make my point, I just want you to imagine something for a minute. And it might be hard to imagine because we've all been in this watch industry for a long time. We've all, we're all seasoned veterans within the watch industry. But I want you to imagine going into the store and picking up a Rolex Submariner. I want you to imagine the, 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 the beauty, the, the, the happiness that comes across you when you buy that watch. Can you imagine if you got three watches for the price of one? If you got a couple of strap variations, a couple of face variations, and a couple of case variations with that Rolex. I know that is a, that's a crazy idea, but I want you to think for a second about, about the world of personalization. Uh, and I can think of a couple of examples for this. So when I go into my car, it has interior lighting. The interior lights are set to the color that I want them to be at. I personalized my car. I unlock my phone. The screensaver is personalized to my taste. I go on Instagram. Most of it is watch content on the Chisholm Hunter Watches Instagram page because I personalized the feed to be what I want to see. Now, why wouldn't the future be that you can personalize the colors, the straps, the cases of the watch? Nobody is saying that it shouldn't be. And what you might find is that if this takes off, and I can see it taking off, other brands follow suit. Because by its nature, this is getting three or four watches for the price of one, devaluing all the other brands that only sell one watch products. Now, yes, I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Maybe I've had a little too many whiskeys, but I do think that this could revolutionize the industry. Now, yes, there's a couple of flaws with this watch. There's a couple of niggles that need ironed out, but it's a great concept. And I haven't seen a great concept come through from watch brands since the Amiga Moon Swatch. I think that was a great concept. So I think Sertina have done well here. You know, Sertina as a brand are, in my opinion, my humble watch opinion, underrated. I think that they're dominated by quite a few of the brands from, from Swatch Group or most of the brands, brands from Swatch Group and I don't think they should be. I think they're having some incredible innovation and they're creating some incredible stuff. And I think in the future, they're definitely one to watch. Now you guys said to me, you said, Harrison, we want you to review new watches. We want you to do new styles of reviews. We want you to get back outside. We want you to do what you love to do and stop confining it to the studio. And that is what we've done in this review. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please check these watches out on the Chisholm Hunter website. They're really, really cool. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. And by the way, before we go, um, the reason for the celebration, I totally forgot, is 25,000 subscribers. 25,000. 25,000. Wow.
that is that's incredible that's the whiskey won't be here in the morning kind of incredible thank you so much guys